Hello guys, in this video, I'm just going to fix this texture issue in Unreal Engine while importing character from AccuRig. I mean, actor core AccuRig. I have just created the rigs for this 3D model. I have downloaded this 3D model from this Sketchfab. So you can download 3D model from any of this website. So already I downloaded it and rigged it, okay? The same character, right? I just tried to export it. Export FBX. So choose Unreal Engine because I'm going to import it in Unreal Engine. So just export it. So already I have exported it. And this is the model. And just imported it. But there is a texture issue. So on this mask, right? You can see there is no proper texture here. So something material is missing. Because whatever right we are uploading, that will be converted to material, okay, in Unreal Engine. And the same will be applied. Example, already the head material is there, which is also is converted to head material here. You can see this global shape. Even right, just click, drag and drop it here. So it's not changing. Also, you can see this under hands. Hands also, it's no proper texture. So otherwise it's good, but no prop protection on head and hands. So I'm going to fix that the same way you can follow. You can get the actual textures from Sketchfab because I have downloaded that, right? For example, if you are downloading 3D model from any other website, just unzip it. You can see the folder textures. So example here, I can see these textures, heads, hands, everything here. Okay, these are the textures. Then fine. Already I have downloaded right. So what I'm going to do is, I mean, I just unzipped it. So this is 2004 Spider-Man Sam Raimi suit. So if we open the texture right, you can see the same name here. So names also matching. Okay. Here what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to download this head sections and this hand sections. Just click and drag it here. Super cool, and it should be converted as a material. First, I will delete this head, head part. Super cool. Now there is no texture. Also, hands, I will remove it. There is hands, okay. hands also, I will remove it. So, hands also removed, head also removed. Cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to import this texture head. Yes, head is there. So just click and drag it here. On this head section, you can see that also automatically the head material will be created. Super cool. Right now the issue is fixed. See, the suit is super. Let's change. Now I need to apply the same for hands. So what I'm going to do is just click on this hand section. So I need to draw this head. Oh, sorry, uh, I need to draw this hand. This is a hand, right? Already I have deleted. So I'm going to bring this hand here. Okay, hands is there. Just click this texture and apply it in the hands. Automatically, material will be created. Sorry, I wrongly placed in the web. Control Z. Hands. Place it perfect. Okay. Place it. Yes. So now it's changed. Even right on the other hands also, it's automatically updated. Super cool, right? Wow. It's great. Also, you can see this hands material also created. So it will be in global shape. Okay, cool. And uh, we do click on this head. So I need to change this material here. Okay. So it's changed, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just check another model. Okay, with the same skeletal mesh, but it is not changing. Okay, we can change only in this level, but we are not able to edit in the mesh level. 
So for the feed, what you need to do is just right click on the skeleton mesh. Okay. Go to, okay. Right click and go to edit. Super. So here go to asset details. Okay. I will minimize it. Okay. So here already the material is created. Okay. Spider-Man hands is material is created. Material is selected. So here you can see this hands and heads. So already hands is selected. So here I'm going to choose this. Use selected asset from content process. So I need to click on this. Super cool. It's changed. See? It changed. So now I'm going to change it for head. Okay. So I need to change it. Select the head mesh uh, material. Okay. Select head material. Where is it? Head. Yeah. This head material we have created and here we need to select this super cool see it's changed so now you can verify this rig also changed so you need to save it actually save all or save it's successfully saved so i'm gonna close it so now you can see this head and hands material is updated i mean texture is updated also, you can check this skeleton mesh. Also, I'd like to show another character which is having same issues. So first, I will create a folder. Wiki test transparency issue testing transparency issue. Okay. So here I'm going to import. I'm going to import the character. So if you want to import animations, you can input it. Okay, super cool. Okay, where is the mesh? Skeleton mesh, okay. So here I'm going to click and drop, but you can see this transparency issue for this 3D model. Okay, I'm going to fix that. The texture also is like that. So I just downloaded it from Acuric. Even right, if you're getting the same error for Mixamo characters, so you can fix in this way, the same way again. So this model, I have downloaded it from Sketchfab. So I have a texture in my drive. So this character is Amazing Spider-Man Garfield. So here I have extracted the texture, just copy and click and drag it here. So you need to put it into the folder. Yes. So now what I'm going to do is this texture, I'm going to click and drag it here. Super cool. Now you can see this is completely changed. Super cool, right? So texture is perfect now. So there is two material created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this. Another material. You have to try, okay, with the different materials. You need to try. This is very plain. So uh, I can click and drag it. So this looks natural. Okay, super cool. Wow, everything looks good. So in order to change in mesh, right, what you need to do is just click that mesh and go to edit. And this is not changed yet. So open the content browser and select a material. And first one also I will change that. The normal one. Super good. It changed. Fantastic. Okay. This material is perfect. I'm going to select all these materials for same. Because that looks good. Yes, it's perfect now. So this shooter, right? It's amazing Spider-Man shooter uh, texture, we need not to change it because it is set by default. Also, if you want to change it, right? Uh, still, it is looks like cartoon or transparency. I need to first apply that texture here. Where it is. This texture, I need to apply. 
So I'm going to click and drag it here. I think it's changed. It's the same way I'm going to apply this material here. But this looks good. Okay. So that's it, friends. So it's successfully changed. One thing we need to do it, we need to save it, save all, close it. Now I'm going to verify. Okay. Here we need to verify this kind of mesh. Yes, it's changed. Wow, it's good. It's perfect now. So that's it, friends. Hope this video is very much helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please put a comments and feedback to media forms. Thank you. Bye and take care.